All right, boys, it's time for the year three playoffs. That's right, your Tampa Bay Lightning just made it into the playoffs. Even though we won our division and we do have home ice advantage, um, I, we, we were like, what, three or four points away from not making the playoffs. So we just made it in. But now that we're here, I mean, anything can happen. We're a new look Tampa Bay Lightning team where we have depth now, you know. Um, if injuries happen, we're going to be fine. And actually, I got to remember to do that. We're going to turn the injuries on right now. There you go. Okay, and uh, let's see what the Philadelphia Flyers are all about. Yes, I know it's Philadelphia. I just, I don't know why I say it. But I actually think that we match up pretty well against the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, I just, like their goaltending situation. And because we stole Briere, I don't know if they're going to have the depth that uh, I thought they would have. Look at their first line. All right, so their first line, James Van Riemsdyk, Claude Giroux, and Jacob Borchek. Pretty good first line. You got your power forward, playmaker, sniper combination. The only thing is we have Stam, Coach LeCavalier, and Thornton on the first line. Uh, 289s, almost 90s, and a 94. So I'd say ours is a lot better than their first line. But their first line still can get some stuff done. So can't uh, rule them out right there. Uh, second line, there's David Perron on the second line. 85 overall, you got Talbot on the second line, alright, he'd probably be better on the third or fourth, and then Matt Reed, who's only an 80 sniper, so I mean, even our second line with Briere, Connolly, and Granlund is better than their second line, so one and two were better, third, look at this, the third line, they have Couturier and Hartnell down there on the third line, those guys should be up on the second and first, one of them at least, um, but you know what, I mean, their two wingers on the third line are better than ours, but that Wandell guy, 80, uh, sorry, 77 grinder. I'd say because of that 77 grinder, we have uh, 383s. They have 177. I'd say it's pretty even. Even though their wingers are better, I'd say the third line is pretty even. And then the fourth line, Sean Avery. They have Sean Avery. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? He's still 81 overall as a grinder, so he's not bad. Uh, Russell, 74 playmaker. That sucks. And Travis Moen, who's not bad either, 82 grinder. Um, I'd say our fourth line is better as well. So up and down offensively, we are better. We are. We can handle them offensively. Defensively, Grossman 84, Carl 83, Hedman and uh, Ekman Larson or Shattenkirk and uh, Stewart are all better than those guys. All right, so first line's better. Second line, Mazaros and Coburn. Coburn's pretty good. But again, like Shattenkirk, Ekman Larson, these guys are all, if not the same, a, a little bit better. So I'd say top four were better. And then the bottom two... Gardner and Sauer, Allen and Leopold are a lot better than those two guys. So every line, defensively and offensively, we are better. All right. Goaltenders now, Brzgalov and Brubowski. All right. So they have two goalies who are both 88 overall. Now, this is not that much of an, of an advantage for them. Because look at Bernier. Bernier is an 87. He's not that far. He's one overall behind now. Bernier is ready, boys. All right, there's a lot of teams in the playoffs with only a goalie with 88, 89, 87, okay? So he's ready now. And everywhere else, we have them covered. Offensively, defensively, all right? So I think this is a doable series. We have home ice advantage. We can handle these guys, all right? They don't have anything anything too special. Anything that they have, we don't have, all right? Um, so I think we can handle these guys. Now we want to, what do we got to win? I want to win at least the first game. I'm not going to worry about game two. We got to get off to a good start, okay? Home ice advantage. We can win this game. So, guys, Stam Coast, last year, you didn't have a single goal for us. You need to step up here, okay? First period. Come on, boys. Get off to a lead. All right, we got one. Chris Kelly for us, all right? And Sean Aver. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my. Whatever. Him and his damn glasses. All right, the two grinders on the fourth line started off for the teams. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's even, all right? Second period. Come on, boys. Stam Coast, I need you to step up. Second period. Oh my god. All right, there we go. Time six, going into the third period tied. Power play. There it is, Connolly. Second line power play. Good job, Brett Connolly. All right, it's not over yet. We need that support. Get that support. Somebody get that support. Joe Thornton, LeCavalier, Stamkos. Come on, our best players. You're all making like seven mil. Come on, there it is, Connolly. Empty netter. The young kid gets two goals. He gets the support and the dagger. Way to go, Connolly. So that second line, man. Briere. Maybe Briere had two assists. Oh, man, we threw 40 shots on the net as well. And look at that, boys. Bernier only allowed one goal. Very nice. It's a very nice uh, start for our, our playoff run here. All right. And now our first line didn't score any goals, but at least we got away with a win without our first or third line getting any goals for us. All right. It was Connolly and Kelly. So we, we know those guys are going to step up eventually, hopefully. So we won the first game. Let's win this second game. That way we can just split one of these two games and come back for game five to eliminate them. All right. Yes, come on, boys. Come on, this is huge. Game two is huge. Come on, here we go. 
First period, somebody step up. First period, uh, okay, 0-0, zero, zero. that's fine, that's fine, don't worry about that. All right, second period, somebody step up. Stamkos, I need you to get a freaking playoff goal, come on. It's time for you to wake up, kid. Second period, oh my god, 0-0 zero, zero again. Goaltender duel, defensive duel. Here we go, third period, somebody get a goal for us. Help Bernier out, man. He's gotten, this is like his fifth shutout period here. Oh, I just jinxed him as well. No, power play, thank god. Oh my god, there's five... Oh, Jesus, somebody score. Holy crap, this is a long game without a freaking goal, man. Are you kidding me? We're not going to go, what, f four periods without scoring a goal? Holy crap, going into second overtime. There it is, Nick Foligno, third liner. There's the depth scoring, boys. Holy crap, Bernier, a 37-shot shutout. Oh, in game one, Bernier allowed the goal in the first period. Then he didn't allow a goal in the second or third, so there's two periods. And this game went basically four periods and a minute. So he's gone six periods now, basically two games without allowing a goal. All right, Bernier, buddy, he's stepping up. It also might be our 100 for defense. He's helping him out. But you know what? You can't fault the goalie. I mean, he hasn't allowed he hasn't allowed a goal in what? Six periods, right? Yeah, six periods. All right, I don't want to jinx the man, so here we go. I'm not going to tell you guys to do anything here. Just score some goals, all right? Here we go. We can end it with this win right here. They're not going to win. They're not going to win four in a row. First period. All right, there it is. Chris Kelly, shorthanded goal. Chris Kelly has two goals, and Connolly has two goals. Holy crap, would somebody else step up? Holy crap, our first our first line hasn't gotten a single goal yet. Come on, first line. You guys got to wake up here. Second period. Oh, my God. There's another two periods for Bernie. That's eight shutout periods now. Holy crap. All right, here we go. Time six celebration. Oh, no. Celebration. Simulation. Ah, Van Riemsdyk. Power play goal. I think it was a four minute or two. Come on. There it is. Moss. Fourth liner. Holy crap. We got depth, boys. We got depth. <laughs> Come on. Somebody step up. First line. We need a goal first line. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Daniel Briere with the empty netter. So, <laughs> Briere only gets a goal when it's an empty netter. So, again. Hang on. It's not over yet. There it is. Again. Our, we get by another game without our first line getting a single point. Not even not getting a goal, but not even getting an assist. Holy crap. Chris Kelly has two goals. David Moss has a goal. Um, what's it? Uh, Chris? No, I said Chris Kelly. Uh, what was it? Nick Foligno had a goal. All right. Holy crap. It's our third and fourth liners that are getting us goals. Conley had two goals. But look at Bernier. Oh, my goodness gracious. Two goals in three games. And I think we've just won the series. I know it's not over yet. And the Philadelphia Flyers, you know, they're the kind of team that could come back. They did it two years ago against Boston. All right. But I don't think we're going to lose three, uh, four in a row. I don't think we're going to lose four in a row. Two at home, two away. No way. No way in hell. All right. So here we go, boys. Game four. Let's just end the series right now. Let's just end it. Get out of here. Get out of Philadelphia. Let's not even go back to Tampa Bay. All right. Here we go. Let's just end it right here. First period. Oh my god, we cannot score goals. I don't know what it is. First line, would you guys step the freak up? Here we go. Second period. Oh my god. Hartnell and Russell and Chad Rose scores. Another fourth liner for us. Our fourth line has like 500% more goals than freaking our first line. Are you kidding me, first line? Let's go. Somebody step up. Tie the game. All right, first liners, you got to tie the game here. Power play. Get a power play. Oh my god, Jacob Borchick. All right. It's not the end of the world. We expected them to win one game, all right? I didn't expect to sweep these guys. Yep. Van Riebsdijk, yeah, don't worry about it, boys. Don't worry about it. We're still up 3-1. to one. Don't, Yep, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Okay, they're not going to win four in a row on us. You expected them to come out and play hard on front of their home ice fans. Don't worry about it. And actually, they started Brabowski. They didn't start uh, Brzezgalov. Ooh, that might be the change that they're looking for. All right, you know what? First line, you're getting one more chance. If we lose this game, I'm changing up the lines, boys. I am changing up the lines because our first line has done shit all. Once again, Stamkos going through the playoffs without scoring a single goal. All right, wait, Stamkos, you're 94 overall with two 90s on your line. Holy crap, would you get a goal? First period. Oh, my God. Van Reems, Dyke, and Hartnell. Uh, all right, it's not over yet, but the way we're not scoring goals, it probably is over. Second period. All right, we got one back. Vinny LeCavalier. Oh, they got one as well, though. I didn't see that. Ah. So finally, our first line gets one, but it doesn't matter because we're still down by two. Now, can we score two goals here in the third period? I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. No, I don't think it's going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. All right, so we lost another one. What the hell is going on, man? Our first line cannot stand coast. Like, he's 94 overall with two 90s on his line. All right, with two great defensemen is... Oh, my God. I don't understand it. All right, we got to change up the lines a little bit here. Oh, excuse me. 
We have to. We have to. We have to shake it up. We're just not scoring goals. All right, the only guys have been getting goals for us is the fourth line. So that's like the only line I'm not going to change. Connolly had two goals in like the first game, but hasn't done much since then. So you know what I'm going to do? Uh, yeah, I got I to gotta change this around a little bit. Uh, we're going to leave Stamkos and Thornton together. All right, but we're going to bring up Briere instead of Le Cavalier. And Le Cavalier, you're going to play in the middle. All right. And yeah, that's the only change I'm going to make. It's the only change I'm going to make. All right. Spread out Le Cavalier and... Uh, because Le Cavalier is a bit better than Briere, so spread them out, all right? Maybe Briere's natural right wing can help out that first line a little bit, all right? Boys, I mean, come on. Do not let them push seven. Do not let them get to game seven, all right? End it right here. This is getting... I'm getting fed up with this now. Come on. First period. Get a goal, first line. First period. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, it's not over yet. Calm down, calm down. Second period. Would somebody step the freak up? Second period... There it is, Stamkos and Connolly. Thank you. Thank you, James Van Reems, I got one. But finally, Steven Stamkos gets on the board. All right, this game's ours, boys. Come on, get one more support. Yes, there it is, Granlund. All right, maybe that was a good switch up. Granlund gets one. Bernier, you have this. Bernier, it's all you, Burns. It's all you, Burns. Come on, Bernie. Come on, Bernie Mac. Let's go, Bernie Mac. Yes, yes. All right, the Tampa Bay Lightning, boys. We've won our first playoff round. It took us to the third year, but we're officially there now. All right, we won the first three games. Our guys got a little uh, a little nervous there. You know, we dropped two after that, but we came back into Philadelphia, and we won it. Jonathan Bernier, what a great first series for him, man. He stole like two or three games for us there. Vinny LeCavalier had two assists on that second line. All right, Stamkos had a goal. Oh, uh, yeah, so maybe those uh, line changes were the right idea. Woo! We did it, boys. We did it. That was a close one. And we didn't suffer any injuries as well. So that's very nice. So let's simulate up here. Let's see who we got in the second round. Let's see who we got in the second round. Oh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. And they must have upset their team because look at their record. They only had 40 wins, 87 points, and they made the playoffs. Holy crap. So we have home ice advantage once again. Let's check out the playoff tree. Let's see what's going on here in the NHL. All right. Uh, let's check out the Western Conference. So, the Vancouver Canucks beat the Anaheim Ducks. So, and you got Chicago over the LA Kings. So, once again, Vancouver versus Chicago. What a great rivalry there. Nashville over Minnesota. And San Jose over St. Louis. So, it's a pretty good Final Four in the West there. Vancouver, Chicago, Nashville, San Jose. All right. And in the East, yeah, your Toronto Maple Leafs. My goodness, they upset the first-seeded Boston Bruins. All right. Uh, Washington upset the New York Rangers. Um, uh, we beat the, yeah, no, no, we're not the, we, we were the, blah, 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 blah. Philadelphia was the underdog against us, so there was no upset there. We moved on past the Philadelphia Flyers, and the Pittsburgh Penguins beat the New York Islanders. So, in the final four in the East, you got Tampa Bay versus Toronto, and Ovechkin versus Crosby, Pittsburgh versus Washington. So there's your Elite Eight, boys, but we did it. We got by the first round. Last year, lost to the first round against the Rangers, and now we've made it to the second round. Progress is being made, boys, and we've we've drafted, not drafted, but we've uh, drawn a great team here in the second round, the eight-seeded Toronto Maple Leafs. We've coulda, we could have had a harder team, no doubt, no doubt. So I think we can win this series and get to the final four, boys. But we need our first line, Stamkos and Thornton, to start stepping it up. Bernier's been playing fine, but we need our first lines, our, our $7 million players, basically, to step it up. And and you too, Breer. You too. And third liner, Simmons, Stajan, and Felino. Good God almighty. You guys got to step up. But I won't complain. We're in the second round. All right, boys? Second round coming up next.